It's great to be with you. You know, never in my wildest dreams did I think our organization with a funny name would become one of the most powerful political organizations in the country. We raise money for pro-choice Democratic women candidates. We help them build effective campaigns. We mobilize and empower women voters, and we recruit Democratic pro-choice women to run at all levels. We're motivated by a deep commitment to diversity and belief that our country will be better when we utilize the full political participation of women. Tonight, we gather virtually because it's not safe to be in a ballroom. But though we are physically apart, we are joined together by a shared understanding. Our country is in dire straits right now. We are sick in our bodies, wounded in our souls, and fearful for the future. Our government is led by a president who is callous, incompetent, venal, and corrupt. He promotes hatred of Americans and is beginning to turn military forces against citizens who disagree with him. And standing at his side are the enablers of the Republican Party. In their eagerness to hold on to power, they have abandoned the values of our democracy and willingly sell out their principles to the benefit of Donald J. Trump. For many years, I have disagreed with Republicans on policy, but this abandonment of fundamental democratic decency is much more. It threatens the very existence of our democracy. And so I conclude, and I know many others agree with me, that Republican control of our government must be stopped. We must end it in November. They have forfeited the right to lead. Tonight, as we celebrate 35 years of making history through EMILY's List, I'm giving a call to arms. We believe that the political power of women can heal our democracy. Well, now is the time to prove it. We know how to win. We've won the most challenging races over and over again. We've demonstrated that together we're smart enough, committed enough, effective enough to win. We can defeat Donald Trump and his Republican enablers in November. And by the way, if you have a little doubt left over from 2016, I have a simple point to make. In 2018, we elected a record number of women, took back the House, and helped Nancy Pelosi become Speaker. Voters were angry, especially women voters, and they showed it at the polls. Well, that was before COVID, before record unemployment, before that horrible image of George Floyd and the silence of our president. Do you really think those voters who struck back in 2018 are any less motivated today? Hell no. Donald Trump can surprise us, but he won't defeat us twice. So tonight, as I have done so many times for 35 years, I ask for your help. We need your financial support to help our women achieve victory. Do you see that button at the top of your screen that says donate? Please hit that button and give the most you can. I'm asking for you to help, not just to turn this country around. I'm asking your help because I want revenge. That's right, revenge. I want to beat these guys so badly that they will never ever dare to emerge with a message of hatred and division. So for every time you watch the news and wanted to scream out in rage, Mitch McConnell, Brett Kavanaugh, Roger Stone, Charlottesville, Lafayette Park, refusing to deal with racial injustice, get your revenge, hit that button and help Emily's List win the races in November. For every time you watch the news and you cried, and believe me, I did many times, remember those terrible images, children in cages, nurses with no PPE, George Floyd with that bastard's knee on his neck and his hand in his pocket. For all who have suffered, give us help so we can help them heal. And for every image that made us proud and showed us we are not powerless, women in white, those wonderful new members of Congress taking the oath of office, 
Nancy Pelosi lifting the gavel to become speaker and in the Oval Office teaching Donald Trump what power with class really looks like. The image of our wonderful women senators who dared to do what seemed impossible 35 years ago. They ran for president. And for our candidate for vice president, whoever she will be, we're already proud because there are so many qualified women to choose from. So feel your power and your pride and help us win again. For 35 years, I've asked for your help to make our dreams of equality come true. I know you will help because you are Emily and I am Emily to my core and together we will win.